they come. Sean O'Loughlin on the right, the captain of Wigan. Paul Sculthorpe on the left, the captain of the champion St. Helens. And all the razzmatazz of millennium magic. Normally they go out into the centres. Will they try to pick out Trent Barrett? That's a great offload from Kalis, and this is Bryn Hargreaves. And it goes round to O'Loughlin, who gets him the second attempt. It's a glorious opportunity for St Helens this with Cunningham, he finds Long and Long spins it to Leon Price who comes back, skids on the turf, goes down the one knee, gets round the first defender. Bit of a St Helens problem. turning the screw. Bit of a problem for Jason Cayley, sees that treatment in the back play, there he but is he's though. got into it. Fully involved, the ball again comes out, goes, I was going to say goes backwards, but the referee's whistle has blown. Teams on the right-hand side of the caption. Will it be three in a row for Wigan? Oh, Try that's the pressure. Down by Wilkin. Oh, Wilkin goes to ground. Well, I don't think he realised that he thought perhaps someone might have been just chasing behind him. He had all the time in the world, perhaps, to pick it up. Oh, oh terrific try from Francis Melly. The charge down from Wilkin. It all came about by the charge down, and it got them in a position. John Wilkin was the man that did that. And that was very poor defence. In hard in a dummy half. And uh, Thomas Lulawai. Lulawai gets a good ball good away. Line. And this is Brian Fletcher. And we're going to level. Oh, they will be if the kick goes over. And you would almost guarantee the kick to go over from that angle. Gareth Hock penalised. So uh, St Helens start from inside the Wigan half of the field. That's Kalis. Tackled by Millard and Paliasina. Here is Cunningham. Showed it to Fozard, gave it to Sculthorpe, who drives it up the middle, picked up and goes a bit further forward because of the momentum of his run. Over the past couple of weeks, St. Tellens have been utilising the crisscross and bringing the man back on side off the inside ball from Sean Long. Will we see now? Here is Long. Infield it goes to Sculthorpe. He stands and offloads to Cunningham. Standing start from Cunningham. He gets it away to Sean Long. Kayla sees a hole. Goes for Wellens. And Wellens tries to get inside Ashton and doesn't score. The Man of Steel comes up with a great try for St. Helens. Just keeping the ball alive. That's the secret of St. Helens' success. I mentioned the fact that Sean Long likes to keep the ball back on the inside. But you could see Barrett had come out of the line. That allowed Wellens the space. They start singing, is that the way to Amarillo? I'm not right sure, but it's the way to the try line. And this guy is a freak. And this is uh, Mickey Heim. It goes to Lulawai under pressure. He gets the kick away, but easily into the arms of Paul Wellens. On the sideline is Bill. Eddie was just saw with that whole FC against whole Kingston Rovers game how energy sapping this atmosphere is and I think it's already starting to have an effect. Paliasina is off. Fantastic pass and great hands from Tellow. Oh, Willie Tellow has gone inside Ashton again. And Willie Tellow, he's just short. That was a try saving tackle, that from Barrett. And there's a right chamozzle there. Who's got the possession? I think Saints have the ball they have. In the shape of Francis Melly, there's James Roby at dummy half, it comes back to Sean Long, here is Leon Price, now it's with Bryn Hargreaves, Hargreaves to Gidley, and St Helens are in. Matt Gidley! Tremendous hands to get the winger away, Melly and the step, Ashton had no chance. Good play by Trent Barrett, he had to get back, only inches away, but they were always going to be in trouble, weren't they? The one good thing about St. Tellens is that they will always stand very deep in attack. A little bit dubious as well, was it? Slightly forward, not according to the official, but this is where this youngster is so good, isn't he? This is James Roby. As Bill informed us, the hard work from Kieran Cunningham, and then they just throw on James Roby. James Roby is devastating off a rolling rook, and when I talk about a rolling rook, it's a quick play of the ball, and that only happens, I think, after the first 10 or 15, almost 20 minutes. Here is uh, Leon Price, little dab over the top, inventive stuff, Wellens will hack it forward, and Wellens might have got his second try here, the referee awards it. Remember not long ago, he got four in a match against the Catalan Dragons. But again, look at the, the space that they've allowed them. There was only Mickey Hyam, 
was interested in getting anywhere near Leon Price. He had time to just knock it down with his foot, little chip over the top. Wellens says, I'll take it from here, no doubt. St. Helens' uh, Welsh ball. heritage belongs to the likes of Kel Coslett, John Mantle, Johnny Warlow, uh, Roy Mathias and Scott Gibbs, and, of course, Kieran Cunningham. Mary Fasavalu is grounded on the halfway line. Roby. You see the difference in James Roby there. It was a, a relatively slow play, the ball from Mary Fasavalu, and, and it was virtually null and void, the, the next hit-up that uh, James Roby made. Long dabs the ball in, Price read it perfectly, hacks it forward and too deep over the past uh, nine years or so. Yeah, full credit to the officials and uh, let's get out of here. They know it's a half time. Kick into the corner. Let me know. Uh, the siren. It's a half that has belonged to St. Helens. Just about every award, didn't he? Including uh, man of the match in the grand final. Long and Graham. Graham stands and hops and gets the ball back to Long. They keep it going. This is. Wellens, but Wigan hunting it. The ball's gone back again. Oh, the he referee stolen. has said that Wigan stole that ball. Certainly hands in. Two men in the tackle. One on one is legal. Two on to one, and the ball comes out is a penalty, and that's why Ashley Klein has blown the whistle. Right hand that was quite obvious. You can see there that he reefed it away. Mickey Heim, of course, who had a, a fairly distinguished career, didn't he, with uh, St. Helens before moving on a bizarre transfer that took him first to Bradford. That's a cutout ball to Wellens. Wellens is in for the hat trick. Paul Wellens gets the hat trick for St. Helens. If you come out of the line and leave yourself completely in no man's land, and that's what Thomas Lulawai has done. Allowed the Saints fullback to go for the hat trick. Lula White. Why on earth he came out so quickly is anybody's guess, but it's celebration time for this fella. Please keep your eye on Ashton. Field and it bounces off him and it's picked up by Cunningham, ankle tapped. Unfortunately, by Mickey Hyam, he was. Phil Clark in the half-time, I don't know if you heard, fellas, he said that the difference between the two sides is... It's only minuscule, really. For, for St Helens, the ball sticks. For Wigan, they're getting into position, but they're just putting the, the ball on the floor. When things come off here, like that, if Wigan break through, they've been dropping the ball. When things come off here, they've come off here. And when your team's running high on confidence, that's a big thing in rugby league. Absolutely, and St Helens are really on top of their game at the moment. I'm a big believer in you make your own look and get more white shirts in the frame than there are black in this case, and, and you've always got a good chance of something happening, and, and that's what Saints have got. They work hard for each other on attack and defence, and they are fantastic. As Tez said in the first half, they're the entertainers of rugby league. They are very much so. That's a great ball again from Leon Price, but he had two or three options then. He found Wilkin. The harder, the, one. the harder you work, Eddie, the luckier you get. Simple. Cunningham. Stabs the ball to the in-goal area, bounces up kindly for Thomas Lulawai. Wigan have been very flat in their attack. You don't get that from St. Helens. They give themselves space. The opposition's not going to allow you to do it. And if you do the combination of Wigan doing that, that's good work. You see, a little... Oh, now then, there's a chance for Ashton, and he will score. Some things down and, and just look to, to steady the ship, but no, they want six points, and they want them now. They do, and they need to got them then with uh, Leon Price, or at least four of them. This is Wilkin, here is Wellens, he wants a fourth, he will get a fourth! He must love it every time we turn up to show St. Helens. Four tries. Just the quality and the strength of the defence. They just have battered them, they really have battered them. Passed off the floor, he said we'll have two. Shakes his head in total disbelief and say, what are they doing? Skullthorpe says, I'll show you what we're doing. We kick in, get the tap, and Wellens gets try number four. You sit down there. Yep. Well, he said in April he wasn't going to criticise referees, and he claims he didn't. I did. But now we're into May. They're open season as far as I'm concerned, but they've done well. They haven't been niggly. 
They've allowed the players to get on with it. Just shouting, get away, get on with it. Dead right, people have come to see rugby league, no penalties. Yeah. Brilliant stuff from St. Helens again. This is uh, Paul Clough once more. He has been a substitute for Saints in each of the last four in Super League. Really is starting to show signs that he's breaking through as well. He's only 19, Paul Clough. They've got some terrific youngsters there. Oh, what a ball! Wellens is after five, and he chipped the ball over the top of Ashton, who was the man who stood in his way illegally. He's got and a goal. Saints have a penalty. Oh, they'll take the two. Let's have a bit of a rest. I think he's probably tired. He looked shattered when we saw him before, didn't he? Give me a give me a breath, lads. <laughs> ball scoreboard pops the penalty over the top. 34, 12, and it actually bounced fair and square on the line. So it went the ten. His problem for Wigan at the wait, moment is wait, the fact that uh, there's still a lot of time and the legs will be getting tired. They've had to go oh, all wonderful shot. Barrett. Trent Barrett back on the inside, Daryl Goulding. <laughs> Hyam waits again, fires the pass to Luluai. Luluai short and it looked a bit forward from this angle to O'Loughlin. O'Loughlin! He is held up in the in-goal area. Last one. Hyam to the in-goal area. Oh, Barrett has scored! This will be on through. Squeeze him. Now then, did Oh, he's dropped it. Enthusiasm, and there were two white shirts in the frame there, and only one Wigan shirt. Well, he's unfortunate, Trent Barrett. He deserved a try. They were magnificent that night, the Leeds Rhinos. They'll still take it, the Rhinos. Oh, of course they will. Cunningham. And at, at 34 18, you'd think we'll just put it up the jumper. Well, they're mob. looking to finish it off here in style. Gidley to the in goal area. Tyra's after this. Violicki tidies up. This will be the last of the match. There's the siren. There's Roby. And that is a win for St. Helens by 34 points to 18. Daniel Anderson has an unblemished record. He has won all seven meetings now with the Wigan Warriors since he took over the St. Helens Club two years ago.